All right, program set. Are you coming, Maxwell? He's not coming today. <laughs> so let's anyway. start by, put that like that. <laughs> Inhale and reach your arms up overhead and stretch. And then bring your arms down. Reach up to stretch and fill the arms, fill the body, stretch out. Bring your hands down to your thighs. Round your back, lower down. Inhale and reach up. From the side, it looks like this. Hands on the thighs, round your back. Lower down or flatten, arch the spine right there, and then reach up. Do that again. Hands on the thighs, round your back, lower down. Inhale and reach up one more time. And then we'll do our 10 move, perfect 10 move warm up right here. Start. All right. So the first thing, let's just get into a squat. I want you to fill your feet though. So fill your toes pressing down and your heels and squat down. Then the other thing is to protect those knees and the lower back, press your feet down into the ground like you're gonna split the floor apart. So you're really feeling your glutes right there. And then just start to go a little bit lower. I'm gonna turn my feet out just a little bit to go a little bit lower. That feels more comfortable. Press your feet down, your toes down. Now add just a knee grab right there. Lower back stretch when you grab the knee. Just like that, down and then lift it up, down and lift it up. Now do a reverse lunge, curl your bicep. Step back, lower your knee toward the floor. So the program today, we're training for time. And the strength part coming up first, we have three supersets, seven minutes total time for each superset. So 21 minutes total, and then we'll move on to hit. Take this side, out to the side. The cardio hit coming up after strength. We got two giant sets, 10 minutes of each on each. So 20 minutes total time. And then we got plenty of time for Core work and stretch at the end. We'll be done in 60 minutes. Next thing coming up, you guys, we're gonna do lizard with rotation. Step out, keep this moving. So mobility move, number one. So shift forward, this foot forward, right, reach up and then under. <laughs> Again, I forgot my weights. Bring it down. Maybe you used your light weights. It's all good, as I said. Adding light weight to the warm up just increases the heart rate a little bit more. Reach up and then curl underneath. Reach up and curl underneath. All right, so get that slight hamstring stretch right there and change sides. Hand on the floor, reach up, look up at your hand and then reach underneath. Point your elbow toward the floor. Reach up, shift your hips forward, reach up. Point the elbow down, bring it up. Press into your fingers, reach underneath and then up right there and lift. Let's do some swimming. Come down to the floor, Superman right here. All right, so, so you can put your hands right here and flutter the legs. That's okay, pull your elbows in, pull your head away from the floor like that. Just a little bit of weight right here. In fact, come up onto your fingertips. Flutter your legs and then start to, if your lower back is okay, reach the arms and then out to the side. Maybe you wanna balance again right here and then reach forward and then out to the side. So this is just strengthening the lower back. Hands on the floor, lift up, plank pose right here. Downward facing dog. Plank pose right there and then downward facing dog. Push the floor away, look behind you. Then come into the downward dog and plank. Repeating over and over, plank pose, downward dog. Again, right there. Now step it in. Let's elevate the heart rate. A little shuffle. Curl your biceps. Relax the shoulders. Lighten up. Getting ready for the workout. It's all good. The weight to use today, 
We'll use a lighter weight today. Our rep range is 10 to 12. Excellent. Grab your, your jump rope and hop on the balls of your feet. There you go. Keep that going from the side. Turn the rope. Why not? Just turn it. Turn the other way. There you go. Turn your rope. Turn forward. Turn side. Turn forward. Turn side. Jumping jacks. So arms overhead. Tap the fingers beside your thighs. Touch your fingers overhead. Keep moving. Press your heels down into the floor. When you hop in and when you hop out. Don't just stay on the balls of your feet. Come on. Almost there. High knee run. Pump the arms. Come on. Get moving. Arms going. Legs going. Knees up. Breathe. Come on. Keep moving. Keep going. Look forward. Three, two, one. Done. All right, you guys. Grab a sip of water. Sticking to the plan. First thing, goblet squat. Water. All right. One dumbbell. I'm going to pick up a 20 pound. So I've got 20 pounds beside me, 15s. Just need one. Bring the weight right here. So goblet squat. Your feet are just wider than your hips. So this is hips right here, wider. Turn the toes out slightly. All right, so look, shoulders back. Point your elbows down, so kind of hug in, but then puff the chest, abs in, and squat 12 reps. So right there, and lift up, down, and then up. Press your feet down into the ground. Excellent. Push down and lift up. Drive through your heels. That's six. Go to 12. Seven. Eight. You got it. Nine. 10. 11. And then 12. Good job. All right, bring this over your head. Behind your head. Thumbs underneath the end. Lower down and lift up. So get your hands equal behind your head. Three, four, lift up. Five, six, good job. So your arms are near your ears, seven, straight up, eight, nine, what do you think of the weight you chose? 10, 11, one more, 12, up and over. All right, take a little break. Lower body, upper body, 12 reps. So the second round, let's do 12 reps again. Decide if you wanna go lower in weight or up in weight. All right, roll your shoulders back. I'm watching the clock, seven minutes. As many rounds as possible. All right, so bring that weight up here to your chest. Hold it. You can also use a kettlebell. I really like to use kettlebells here, but for purposes of teaching where mostly people have dumbbells, that's why we're using this. All right, so again, hug those arms in. So squeeze them in, point your elbows down, and then bend your knees and squat down. 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, good, six, five, four, three, two, one more, tricep extension, bring it over your head, 
are lighten up the weight. I've got this 20 pound weight. So this is, I'm feeling 12 reps here. Get your thumbs underneath, behind. Arms near your ears, 12, let the weight disappear. 11, stagger your stance. Nine, good job. Eight, seven, six, slow it down if you need to. Five, control it. Four, come on. Three, good. Two, chin neutral, and then one. Nicely done, all right. Third round coming up. Everybody just relax. Lower body to upper body. So while your lower body's working, upper body rest, and vice versa. Turn your toes out. So just an efficient way of working out because we have an hour, right? So turn your toes out, press your feet down, squat. Two, doing 12 reps, three, knees go the same direction as your toes, four, five, good, six, look forward, seven, you got it, eight, nicely done, nine, push through your heels, drive up, 10, 11, and then 12. All right, French press, up and over, behind your head, lift and lower, lift and then lower. Do it again, lift and lower. We'll get one more round in, okay? Lift up, bring those arms near your ears, keep your form, I think this is five, does that feel right? <laughs> Six, ha, oh, seven, I'm feeling this now, eight, nine, ten, eleven, one more, twelve, all righty, relax, let's do one more round, that'll be our seven minutes, and then we'll move on to the second superset. Two new moves, okay? All right, here we go. Bring it up. Feet wider than hips, toes turned out. Right there, shoulders back. Knees come the same direction as your toes. Squat down, one. Goblet squat, two, three. Push through the heels, four. But press your toes down, five, six. Good job, come on. Seven, eight, you got it, nine, ten, do two more, one more, triceps. I'm going to go down to my 15 pound for that, just so that I can control the weight up and over my head, right? Okay, so bring it behind, thumbs underneath, do 12. 11, 10, good, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, good job, come on, 4, 3, you got it, 2, fill your triceps, and then 1, nicely done, all right, rest, get some water, the second superset, 7 minutes, as many rounds as possible in seven minutes. So this has, this superset has two sides, or has right and left side, so bilateral movements start. Starting session. Sorry, unilateral, unilateral movements. Okay, so the first move, <laughs> as the, thing, the clock stops, starts. Grab one heavy dumbbell, Single leg, RDL, we got time, right? So better to set up well, shoulders rolled back. Now, my weight is 20 pounds. I'm gonna go down on weight though, as we do the reps or the rounds. So one leg goes back, and I'm gonna reach the dumbbell right beside my shin, and then lift up. So I'm gonna say that again. Reach the leg back, reach the dumbbell towards my shin, and then lift up. Call this three, 
four, five. So we're gonna split this up, do one more. Now we're gonna change the hand, change over, place your hand on the opposite hip, same leg though, same leg, shoulders back. I'm not trying to confuse you, but just changing where the weight is, feel the difference. One, doing six, two, same side, three, you've just changed the weight to the other hand, keep your balance, four, five, one more, and six, good, how's that go? All right, so let's change sides, standing leg, opposite leg, change the weight, or keep the weight in the same hand, because you're gonna standing leg, right? Opposite hand, leg is holding the weight, that, and then that leg is back. <laughs> did I say that right? I think I did. All right, let's do it. Here we go. Do six, and then we'll change hands. Five, you got it. Four, good. Three, ha. Oh. two, then one more, ha ha, get that last one. It's important and bring it up. All right, other side, six here, six, bring it up. Same leg, opposite hand, I just switched legs. Everybody with me? All right, let's start over. Okay, same leg going back, opposite hand, six, Five, I was thinking too hard. <laughs> Kelly, you shouldn't do that. Four, three, two, and then one more. Excellent, okay. So now let's lighten up weight. Put that weight down, eight pound weights. So standing tall, not hinging forward. Stagger your feet, thumbs are gonna go up. You're just gonna lift to right here and then come down. So it's a lateral raise, but with the elbows pointing down, thumbs up, you're engaging the lats. That's three, four, good. Five, six, seven, right there, come on, eight, Nine, do 12. 10, you got it. 11, one more. 12, put it down. I'm gonna go to my 15 pound dumbbell, second round of single leg RDL. We'll split it up six and six, changing hands in the middle, okay? So right here, key thing you guys, watch up here first before you go, is to reach right in front of the shin rather than, rather than reaching like this. You don't want to do that. This is the move. So it's reaching down towards your foot and then coming up. The other thing is, don't worry about straightening that leg. It's actually a little bit better to bend the knee because then you'll keep your hips level, a little bit more level. When you turn your legs, when your leg is straight, you can turn your toe and hip out. So let's do four more on this side. Or four more with the weight in this hand. Three, good, two. And again, you don't have to keep that leg as straight as possible. One, now change hands, don't change legs, just hands. Hand at hip, shoulders back. Reach right in front of the shin and then up. You don't have to go all the way to your foot but just reach, three, good, four, right in front of the shin, you got it, five, one more, six, and bring it up, let's change sides, so that standing leg is the leg that's gonna go back, or lift up, change, or keep the weight in that same hand, Shoulders back, let's do six of these, and then we'll change hands. Six, reach in front of the shin. Five, 
five, right there, four. You can bend the knee back there, three. That's less important. Keeping the hips level is more important. Two, good job. And then one, now let's change hands, same leg, goes back. Six, carefully, five, four, you got it, three, two more, two, wobbly, remember where that weight is, it should be in front of the shin, and one, all right, weight down, grab the lighter weight, changing right into the upper body, so we can let those legs rest for as long as it takes us to get these 12 in, ready, go, one, don't go all the way up. Two, thumbs up. Elbows point down. Three, or turn in. Four, good job. Five, six, seven, chin neutral. Eight, nine, and then ten. Nicely done. All right, third superset. Grab a big gulp of water, and we'll move on. Lightweight. We're going to pick up those eights again, or you may get tens. I think eights are going to be the perfect weight here. It's done. Starting session. Seven minutes, AMRAP. So grab the lighter weight. So starting with upper body, stagger your stance, hinge forward right here and reach the elbows out to the side. So bent over, fly, reverse fly, lift. And you're pressing into that forward foot so that your lower back is protected. So from the side, looks like this. Hinge forward, and I'm pressing forward right there. Let's call that five. Abs in, six. Pinkies out, seven. Good job, eight, nine, 10, 11, one more, 12, good. All right, so let's go to lower body work. Rear lunge, alternating right here. You can pyramid up a heavier weight. I'm gonna go up to my 12s. Weight up to your shoulders and you set it there. All right, so alternate right, left. Two, going to 12. Three, look forward, four, good, five, don't let your chest hit pitch forward, six, lower the knee, seven, eight, look forward, don't look down, nine, 10, use that forward leg to come up. 11, one more, 12. All right, put that weight down, squat to put it down, squat to pick up the other weight, stand up, ready? All right, so this time, stagger your feet like this, just to see the difference. All right, it's mainly for your lower back, you need to be supported. So hinge forward, Wait right here, abs in, 12 of these, 12, controlled, 11, abs in, 10, pinkies up, 9, 8, 7, good, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, all right, put that down. Pick up, wait for rear lunges. All right, roll your shoulders back. Look forward first, wait up at your shoulders. And let's lunge rear, here we go. One, come forward with a forward leg. Do that, two, 
three. Don't push off the back leg if you can help it. Four. Five. You got it. Six. Look forward. Seven, right, and then left. Eight, knee in the front of your ankle. Here's nine, and here's 10. And then 11, you got it, stay with me. And then 12. I hope I counted that correctly. <laughs> All right, one more time. Flies, I think we can get one more round in. You decide, that better for your back? That's what it's all dependent on. Is that better, like that, or like this? I like wide stance, hinging forward, out of the side, slow and controlled. Pinkies up, two, three, abs in, four, Five, you got it. Six, seven, pinkies out. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Nicely done. Let's get the lunges in. Grab the weight, put it up on your shoulders. Rear lunge. Here we go. One, two, Use that forward leg, come forward. Three, look forward. Four, nicely done, here's five. And then six, you got it. And then seven, halfway. There you go, come on, eight. <laughs> Nine, lower the knee, step forward. 10, you're almost there. 11, one more. 12, there you go. Nicely done. All right, what's our time? Oh, we can do another round of flies. That's good. Okay, I'm gonna stagger my feet this time the opposite way. <laughs> Shoulders roll back right here. 12, 11, 10. Press into the forward foot. Nine, abs in. Eight, elbows out. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then one, nicely done, you guys. Super good, put that weight away. Whew. How's everybody? Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, thank you for staying with me. Okay, four moves. The first move we're gonna do is hands behind the ears and you're gonna squat and do 10 reps, elbow to knee, squat, elbow to knee, same side, three, Good, I'll count for you. I'll try to keep it straight. <laughs> Here's five, good, six, seven. Squat down, eight, try to go lower. Lift up your knee, nine, one more, 10. Change sides, 10 on this side, nine, eight, seven, pull the elbow back. Six, don't pull in the head. Five, good. Squat down a little bit lower. Four, three, bend at the hips, sink down. Two, and then one, now alternate. 10, nine, counting each lift. Eight, seven, six, five. We got it, four. Three, two, one. Excellent work. Okay, so the next move, a little more cardio. So 
You're going to step side, touch the ground, and then reach up. Or step side, touch your thighs, and reach up. Or sumo, like that. So count right and left as one, and we'll count 20 sumo squats. Ready? Go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, arms up, eight, nine, ten, you got ten more, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, come on, sixteen, you're with me, seventeen, looking forward, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, that was quite a few, right? <laughs> Excellent. All right, static lunge. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see me in profile. You ready? Here we go. Right leg back. Catch your breath as you move in. Whoa, move into position. <laughs> A little wobbly. So, legs in there on lane. Ready? Look forward. Lower and left. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Good. Six. Five. You got it. Four. I'm looking at you. Three, kind of. Two. One. Chain sides. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Weight in the forward heel. Six. Butt pressure toes down. Five. Look forward. Four. Three. Two. Excellent. Now alternate and then hop step to the other side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, going to ten, nine. 10. All right, do you want to look up here and see what we were doing? <laughs> I don't know if you got that. We'll be doing that again. So, so it's just a lunge rear, and then you'll come up and skip hop to the other side. Skip hop, right? So we usually do plyometric, right? Split lunge. So to protect the knees and be low impact this time, not for any specific reason for me, but just to show you, your heart rate can elevate just by quick movement. You don't have to do things that could injure your knees. But it is good to hop in, a, in, a, in good form. Okay, so static lunge. We did that bear crawl. The fourth move. I love these. So because you can progress them well. So just walk forward and back four. Hand and leg moves at the same time. Be sure that's happening because it's easy to move the same hand and leg forward. But I want you to, to coordinate this quadruped move. Okay, so right here, lift up your knees. Just walk it back. One, move it forward. That's two, we're going to 10, three, Put your knees down if you have to. Four, forward, backwards, five, forward, six. Hover the knees, don't lift the hips too high. Seven, eight, nine, and then 10. Set your knees down and stand up. Nicely done. Okay, so back to the beginning. Number one, elbows back, squat, knee across, squat. Let's see if we can get two rounds in. Oops, sorry. Same side, squat, across. There we go. Let's count that as one. That's two, three, four. Don't pull in your head. Five, six, squat lower. Seven, 
eight, come on, nine, come on, 10, change sides, 10, count down, nine, eight, seven, you got it, six, come on, five, four, nice, three, two, and then one, alternate, squat, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, good. Sumo jacks, lower high, low or high. 20, 19, 18, 17, clap, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Woo! Nicely done. Okay. Catch your breath. Static lunge. Right leg goes back. Do 10. 10, 9, 8. Hands at your hips. 7, 6. Knee over the ankle in the front. 5, 4. Look forward. 3, 2, 1. Chain sides. Here we go. Lower and lift. Woo! Get your balance first. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, eight, nine, ten. All right, so let's do the skip hop to the other side. Or you can do split lunges. Your choice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, something like that, eight, you got it, nine, let's do one more for a good measure in case we missed one. <laughs> Nicely done. All right, bear crawl. We got 30 seconds, okay? So go ahead and get into it. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. <laughs> we did it. We got two solid rounds in. Get some water, guys. You deserve it. All right. Second circuit. <laughs> Catch your breath. Lateral lunge. When you make those bear crawls quick, boy, your heart rate elevates so much higher. Of course, anytime you make a move quicker, your heart rate's gonna go higher. So we're creating cardio, our good strength, cardiovascular strength, increasing our capacity every time we work out, okay? So let's start this. Let's go so we have enough time for for the um, ab work. Let's make this an eight, eight minutes. Right there. I think that you're okay with that, right? I am. <laughs> All right, so cardio, low intensity, no weights, set, start. Starting session. First move, lateral lunge. 
So lateral lunge, stick your weight back. So notice what I did there. So stepping to the side, plant my foot, bend my knee, bend my hips, and lower down. Not this, you guys. Don't hinge forward like that. That's not it. You're sticking your weight back. And in fact, keep your arms forward, and that'll work better. So squat to the side, and then lift your knee up. Down, lift your knee up. Now, if you can, add a hop right there. So we progress the move. Squat, laterals, lift up. There you go. Come on. Up. Lift it up. You got it. Knee up. Progressing that move. All right, one more. I did lose count there. It's okay. Ten on the other side. So progress. So step side, step side, lower your hips, or glutes down, bend your knee. Remember, it's not this, it's not that. All right, I say step side lunge. Let's count that as four. And count this five, knee up. Six, at a hop. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And now let's do both sides, all right? So lunge, lunge, lunge. Arms like this, arm forward. Four, good. Five, six, come on. Seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. Nice, okay, second move, curtsy lunge. Let's start with the right leg, ready? So we'll progress this, okay? Look, arms forward to counter the balance, step back, lower your knee behind the ankle. So it's not that. Don't torque your hip. Just step back at a diagonal, that's all you need to do. That engages that gluteus medius, the side of the hip, three, Four, look forward, five, progress at a knee, six, up, that's harder, seven, lift, eight, lift, nine, lift up carefully, stabilize that knee over the ankle, ten, chain sides, all right, here we go, step back, lower the knee, and tap, do it again, use that forward leg, stabilize, knee over ankle, all right, add a knee lift. Four, five, don't hop. Six, seven, you gotta straighten up your body. Eight, knee up. Nine, and 10. All right, together, you ready? So we're gonna split or skip hop to the other side, just like we did on the split lunges. Ready? Go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, come on, eight, nine, and ten. You got it. Nicely done. Okay, come to the mat. So, the fourth move, I'm gonna teach you push ups. I know, you think you know it, but just listen, even if you know it, right? Always learning something new, even me, right? So abs in, you're really, really contracting your body or bracing your entire body. So legs out, let's just do four on the toes. Abs in, squeeze the thighs, lift the head, chest to mat, one, don't chicken pack and drop the head. Two, abs in, squeeze the thighs. Three, I have to tell myself that every time. And then four, now let's do a three part. Lower, knees down, push up to the top, that's five. Lower down, knees to the mat, push top, that's six. Shift, lower, knees down, seven. Lower, knees down, eight, 
up, abs contracted, lower chest, knees down, push up, top, nine, lower, knees, push top, knees up, and 10. Knees down, push top, lift up, and stand. <laughs> Excellent work, you guys. All right, let's try to get through. Let's see what we can get through. Lateral lunges, we'll, get, we'll go right through it. So listen to my cues. Step to the side, and then lift your knee. One, two, add a hop, three. You can also release the arms, hands, four, five, little hop, six, seven, building strength in the ankle, the knee and the hip, eight, nine, 10. Chain sides. One, two, three. You got it. Four, five. Come on, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Now, chain sides. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. All right, right into curtsies. You ready? Here we go. One, lift up your knee. Two, our tap down. Three, four, add arms, five, maybe that helps with balance, six, higher, higher heart rate, two, seven, eight, watch the knee in the front, nine, and ten, chain sides, one, good, pull it down, two, three, four, good, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Skip hop to the other side. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Come on. Six, watch your knees. Five. Halfway, four, three, two. Oh, darn it. We didn't get our push ups in. Oh, well. <laughs> All right, let's start with seven minutes of core work. Come to your mat. Have a ball available, like I said earlier, okay? So let's do. I pump mine up nicely. So less spongy, a little more resistance. Squeeze the knees in. 10 reps, touch, tap your toes. Lift the hips and shoulders at the same time. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Squeeze the ball, nine, 10. All right, so now we're gonna flip over. You're gonna still use the ball though. Okay, so I need you to listen. Put the ball, <clears throat> let's call it right and left. All right, so put the ball behind the right leg. So, everybody with me? So you gotta come down to your belly, don't let the ball go, like that, right? Okay, forearms on the mat, like sphinx pose. Okay, so what you're gonna do, so you're gonna press into the forearms, lift the chest, pull your abs in, right there, and now lift up or press that, the ball side knee, <laughs> that right side, press that leg down. Now straighten the left leg and tap the knee. So my hips are off of the floor, so press into the mat like you're in a forearm plank, but you have your knees down. Now straighten the left leg and then tap the knee. Straighten and tap. Four, press your fingers down. Five, six, so I'm not lifting up that right side. Seven, 
eight, nine, and then 10. All right, relax. All right, you can grab the ball for a moment. Breathe. Same side, put the ball behind your knee. So variation of this. So now tuck your toes under and lift up your hips off the mat. Press into the floor, your palms, your forearms. Look between your thumbs, okay? Abs in, and now you're gonna lift up that left leg, and you're just barely gonna lift the right. 10, tap, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and lower. How's that? All right, so let's flip back over. We'll do the other side after we do one more set of crunches. Okay, so we did the right side. Next, we'll do the left. Put the ball between your knees, hands behind your head, and then touch, tap the toes. Two, lift your shoulders and hips. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. All right, so now lift up, come onto your knees, place the ball behind the left knee like that, right? So I'm kind of squeezing right there. I'm engaging my glute, my hamstring, and then I'm gonna lower down to the mat, keep the ball there, and put my forearms down, squeeze. So this is the, this is the one, the move, where you're just keeping that ball, right? And then lift up onto your forearms, lift your hips, press your forearms down, look between your thumbs. Now you're just going to tuck the right toes under, lift the right knee, and then tap down. Two, press into the forearms. Three, and you want a slight pelvic t tuck. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And relax. If you can keep the ball there, do that, or you can grab it and rest for a moment. The next position, same position, well, same position, look between the thumbs, squeeze the ball, lift up, tuck your right toes, now lift up, tap, lift not too high, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then lower down. Now, roll over, one more round, of crunches, okay? Between the knees, hands behind the head. Ready? Squeeze the ball. Your ankles are apart. Crunch. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do it again. Seven, eight, nine, 10, beautiful job. All right, so let's do side plank, right side and then left side. Use the ball. So you're on your mat. You're gonna bring one leg underneath you like that on your hand or your forearm. I prefer to be on my forearm like this. So especially because we're gonna lift the arm and lift the leg. One, two, Three, press your hand down. Four, good. Five, don't drop the head. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and hold. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Sit it down. Let's stretch right there. Let's take advantage of that. Stretch. And let's change sides, okay? So we'll get this done and then we'll fully stretch our body, okay? Yep, we got 30 seconds. So we've done core for seven minutes exactly. So lift up one, two, three, four, good. Five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, 10, hold, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, three, two, one. Nicely done, sit and stretch over that leg. Whew. You guys did such a good job. Done, 60 minutes done. Let's stretch, okay? So important to stretch. Let's just relax the muscles, but I want you to breathe with me also, so pay attention to that. All right, release your ball. Let's come on to your hands and your knees and do cat-cow four times. So exhale, then inhale, look forward. Exhale, inhale, exhale. One more. So we're gonna do a combination stretch, all right? So getting the upper body stretched and the lower body at the same time. So bring your, I'll turn this way so you can see me. So we're gonna thread the needle, but also bring the leg to the side. So right leg out, put your foot flat, and then left arm reach, bring that arm underneath, and put the shoulder and the temple on the floor. Reach the, ops, the, the right arm over or overhead, Put your palm on the floor, breathe. Inner thigh, hamstring, hip, shoulder. Now, just to stretch the left side shoulder, lift up the left hand, bring it around, place your hand on your back and open up your shoulder right there. Breathe, and maybe you can reach around and grab the leg over there. Sneak those fingers into the crease, breathe. Relax the jaw, relax your neck. Good job, all right, so put your hand down, lift up, set your knee down, opposite side, foot on the floor, put your foot flat, and then reach right arm under, temple on the floor, so you're looking that direction, and then reach your arm, the left arm. Put your foot down, breathe. Now just bring that left hand up, place it on the lower back, give yourself a pat on the back. Good job, self. <laughs> and then reach your hands around and sneak them into the crease on the other side of the leg and the hip. Breathe. All right, so hand on the floor. We're gonna lift up, feet out wide. Sit into Malasana for a moment, right there. So hands at your heart, look forward. Knees the same direction as your toes, elbows on the side of your knees, look forward. Breathe in, sink your weight back into your heels, but then press your toes down also. All right, so we're gonna stand up, press into your heels, drive through your heels all the way up, lift up and reach overhead. Exhale, give yourselves a big hand for doing this class with me. Thank you so much. All right, so changes are coming with my program. Still doing the same thing, same classes, virtually, live, but lowering the price, combining the programs, so you'll get both programs for one subscription price, $9. And I want you to enjoy my programming as things start opening up. You can work out with me on your phone or device, even at gym with all the equipment that they have, right? And continue to get, get some quality programming and a variation each time we work out, okay? So anyway, have a great one. Let me know how you are and if you have any questions. Thank you, bye.